I'm uh, Matt Gordon, and I spoke about the dialects of Missouri uh, going beyond pop versus soda. Uh, the early American settlement of the state of Missouri has a, a, a tremendous influence on the dialect patterns that arise. So we see uh, traces of uh, the movements from peoples uh, in the 19th century, uh, which parts of the states they uh, landed in and where they came from, and those uh, historical patterns still have an influence on the on the speechways that we see today. People are are aware of lots of uh, vocabulary differences. So of course, uh, pop and soda is a well known difference. Uh, you have uh, differences in with things like uh, seesaw versus teeter totter, but also with pronunciation. Of course, uh, Missouri uh, versus Missouri. That that difference of the vowel at the end of the word. Things like route and root. Um, uh, uh, those are all well-known patterns that people tend to be aware of. But in linguistics, we're also interested in those features that tend to uh, operate below the level of consciousness. People patterns that uh, are thoroughly represented in the way people speak, but they're just not aware that the way that they say something is is any different from uh, the way that someone else says that. And a great example of that is the uh, distinction of the vowel sounds in words like lot and thought. Uh, which are pronounced the same for a good number of Missourians, particularly for people under the age of 40 or so. Cultural geography of, of Missouri is very complicated, and the dialect geography uh, reflects a lot of those complications. So you have, um, you can sort of slice the dialect picture up in lots of different ways. You have uh, urban versus rural differences, and then even within that, you have strong differences between, say, St. Louis speech and Kansas City speech. You have distinct patterns associated with the Ozarks uh, versus northern Missouri, um, and also special patterns associated with the Boot Hill section of Missouri. So all of those cultural differences within the state of Missouri also play out in terms of the dialect differences. I describe myself as a, uh, a linguist, first, uh, first of all, and then within that, my specialty is uh, sociolinguistics or dialectology, and I work on differences of uh, uh, dialects in American English. We get data from a lot of sources. Of course, the most important way that we get data is from recording of people and uh, actually recording how they speak um, in their everyday kind of conversational tone. We also can take more explicit measures of speech by asking people directly uh, what word they use for this and that concept or um, asking them questions about whether they pronounce words one way or another. Sort of direct questionnaire kind of method is also useful. Uh, yes, this is the first time I presented in this series, and I was very happy to be a part of Saturday Morning Science. It was wonderful. I recommend it to all my colleagues.